all right so in this video we are going to talk about samsung super fast charging technology and whether it's something that will destroy your battery so i have these two devices here the galaxy s20 which supports super fast charging and the samsung galaxy a03 core which doesn't support the super fast charging gone were the days where we had to sit for between three to four hours to get our phones charged 100 percent samsung users have over the years raised concerns about long lasting batteries and i believe the super fast charging technology was introduced to bridge this gap so your phone dies early but then you have the opportunity to charge it very fast so i got this samsung travel adapter which delivers up to a 35 watts power for super fast charging on the c to c and up to a 15 watts for fast charging um but that uses type a all right so we'll be testing this in a bit but it's important to know that your device must support the super fast charging and so um let's toggle this in the s20 to do this you just have to go into settings and then you go to battery and device care you go to battery you scroll down go to more battery settings and as you can see we have fast charging and super fast charging options there so you can just choose to toggle on and off now that is off i just want you to take note of this when i plugged in the charger you could see that though i'm using the super fast charging option the 35 watts but then you could see just one electric sign showing all right so let's try go back and then toggle it on and see what happens all right boom as you can see you see two electric signs and then it says super fast charging down there so yeah that's really about it um super fast charging it works very fast now will super fast charging affect your battery in any way well super fast charging is not entirely bad for your phone but the risk comes from the heat that the charge generates so things like leaving your phone um in a hot car maybe like around the dashboard area or maybe overcharging it so i think Part of the reason why Samsung introduced the charging limit to 85% to protect the battery um, and also to increase its lifespan is as a result of this so that you don't charge the phone for a very long time up to 100%. So guys, it's a wrap um, for this video and if you liked it, make sure you hit the thumbs up icon and if you haven't subscribed, you want to hit that subscribe button for more tech goodness. I'll see you in the next one.